Hi everyone, it's Darren here, The Very Creative Vegan, and it's a very exciting day to be me because I've been absolutely waiting for weeks to reveal what's gonna, you're gonna see what's in front of me in a huge box. And it's all to do with this guy here on my top, this merch, Bruce from the film Jaws. And it's one of my, it is my favorite film of all time. I went to see it when I was a seven year old kid on my birthday and I've probably seen it 250 times. But stick around to the end of this video because as well as this big reveal that I'm gonna tell you about in a moment, I'm gonna show a DVD trailer that I did for Steven Spielberg's Jaws for Universal Pictures when it was first released on DVD. And I don't think I've shown this trailer in like 10 or 15 years now. So stick around to this video where I'm gonna show you that trailer. But before that, you're gonna need a bigger boat. There are two guys called Matt and Matthew who I found on Facebook a couple of months back. And these guys have produced the shark Bruce from Jaws in acute detail. That entire shark designed by Oscar winner Joe Elvis. And I basically, I bought the biggest version of this limited edition shark because they had one going spur. I bent the credit card, I thought to hell with it. But it's been sat in a box in my study for the past couple of weeks because I've been waiting for this awesome merchandise that they also do to turn up so I could wear it while I reveal what's in this box. So without further ado, here is Bruce Shark, the 50 inch one times six scale version being revealed for your pleasure. So here's the box guys. Look at the size of this thing. I've already opened it, but honestly, I swear I haven't gone into the box. So this is how it arrived. Great packaging, that's for sure. So this is the certificate of authentication. That's very nice. Look at that. You can zoom in on that one, check that out, look at that. That's pretty cool with the jaws there. From Batch Studios, so that's exciting. That's going to go underneath the beast. So let's get stuck in there without further ado. And it's a again, clearly, for those of you who've seen it many times like me, I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of Jaws fans watching this video and who might be aware of this Bruce Shark or not. Oh, this is the stand that it comes on. Check out that. They're calling the big one the man eater. So we'll put that there until we can stick him on the pile of place. And come on, have a, let's see where he is in here. He's clearly well packaged. Let's go into this, this box first here. What do we have in this? Yeah, when I was a kid, after I saw the film, I just became obsessed with shocks. I got every book in the library. I just started reading up on them all, all the different ones, Mako, Tiger Shark, Hammerhead. I became a, like a, an expert on sharks at eight years old. I used to freak the kids out in school, but I used to love it. So Manny to Bruce comes with barrels from the famous movie. Check those out. That's nice, isn't it? There's one of them. There's going to be three of them. Let's put that there. Let's take those out. For those avid watchers of Jaws, watch the continuity with the barrels in the film because if you watch it closely, it's quite interesting that I think they put one barrel into Jaws, they put another one, they put the three in, they hook some, check it out, there's some continuity sometimes where the barrels on the ship and on the shark don't quite match up, but we'll forgive Spielberg. Okay, there's the barrels. What else have we got in here? Oh, this looks like it's uh, Bruce's fins, not his dorsal fin, the side fins. I can smell the resin paint on there, that looks pretty cool. Let's put that down. The other one. So, these guys have clearly cottoned on to some in here. They, I think they're only making 25 of this big 50 inch version, but they do do a smaller version and they do busks where it's the head of Bruce that you can put on the wall. They're all pretty awesome. I mean, the detail in the model that they've got is absolutely incredibly accu accurate to the shark, shark itself. What's in here? I think it's the infamous barrel that kills our beloved Bruce and blows him into bloody smithereens. With the infamous line, smile you son of a bitch, that's been copied by countless other films that have tried to come up with a great ending, but look at that, there you go. That's quite cool. 
and I think this can sit at the side of it or that can go in, in Bruce's mouth. But let's get this beast out. I'm not gonna... We do have two cats in the house, so let's just get him out. Look at that. There he is. He's huge! So I have got a pride of place in my study where I'm going to have him positioned. I guess one of the things I considered about buying him is like, where the hell am I going to put him? But I've found a place. He's going to go. And uh, I'm also going to get back into drawing. So I thought drawing Bruce, I'm a pretty good pencil drawer. Here we go. So it's just. It feels weird getting him out without his. Look at that man. Bruce Shark, man eater. How's he looking? Is he looking good? Hey, don't get him in, not me. He's uh, he's slightly better looking than I am. Well, let's get the wing. Let's get the wings on him. Nice, there we go. That's it. Can you come in and film him. There he goes. Like that, I think. Thereabouts. Again, you can put the barrels here, underneath him. And I guess this can go here, or you can put the barrel. I have seen pictures where they put the barrel actually in his mouth. That's quite cool. He's an absolute beast. Is your, is your shadow getting up there? But... It's all right, let's have a picture of him like this. Check it out, look at the detail on it. He's actually quite light. I was uh, curious whether they were gonna make him in like a in, a, in a latex, so he would have like a smoother, softer feel to him, but in the resin, it's, you can really get that detail in there, which is looking quite cool. So Bruce Shark, 50 inch limited edition version. I'm proud to have him in my home. He's gonna sit pride of place in my study. I'm gonna show you where he's gonna be sat in a bit. Nice one, guys. It's actually a, it's a work of art, that's for sure. There you go, that's better. Have him sat right there. I got the uh, 4K version of Jaws, which I still haven't seen that came out this year because it's been 45 years. And I've gonna be, I'll have him sat there in the living room and watch that together. So the one thing I am gonna do though is also tell you about as well as the sharks that as I said they do the busts and they do this they do an amazing range of uh, merch mem of, of all different types hoodies this one's a red one they've got about four or five different designs of Bruce Shark and check that out on their website as well it's pretty awesome but I'm gonna change to show you this is the one hoodie that I got and also I'm gonna they do t-shirts as well they look, they do awesome t-shirts with a different design too. Check out that one, pretty awesome. Men's and women's they do, and they've got a great range on the Christmas presents, Halloween presents, check it out. You know, you can't, Bruce, let's be honest, he's one of the best movie monsters that has ever been created in one of the most famous films of all time. And to this day, I still love Jaws. I still get so much enjoyment watching it, watching the camaraderie between, you know, Brody, Quint and Hooper and chased by this big beast here. So again, I want to thank the guys for creating this monstrosity of, a, of an amazing, memorable, infamous movie monster. I'm uh, happy to welcome him into my home and it'd be interesting to see if anyone else has bought Bruce Shark and to put up your videos or pictures and to see where he sits in your house. So as promised at the beginning of this video, Hope you enjoyed Bruce being revealed. I'm going to show you a trailer, a, a trailer that I did for the first DVD release of Jaws, the film that I did for Universal Studios and Steven Spielberg. And no one has seen this for many years. I dug it out from an archive that I used to work on. So enjoy that trailer now. 
And for those of you who don't know, those of you who own the 4K and the Blu-ray, there's a, there's a great documentary called The Shark Is Still Working, and I knew about that documentary for years, but surprisingly Universal Studios didn't. And when they were going to release the Blu-ray, I said, you need to have why the shark, the, the, the shark is still working as an extra. And so I mentioned it to them, and through me mentioning it to them, that's how it ended up on the Blu-ray. So there you go, a small fact fan guys from one of the biggest Jaws fans out there. Darren, the very crazy vegan. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye from me, bye from Bruce. Zoom in on the boy. For that you get the head, the tail, the whole damn thing. Amity Island has long been known for its clean air, clear water, and beautiful white sand beaches. But in recent days, a cloud has appeared on the horizon of this beautiful resort community. A cloud in the shape of a killer shark. <coughs> It was the summer of 75. 30 years have passed. But the fear and the phenomenon still swims on. The 30th anniversary special edition of Steven Spielberg's classic, Jaws, is back with more bite. You're gonna need a bigger boat. And more bonus features than ever before. I think he's come back for his noon feeding. With a rarely seen from the set 1974 Steven Spielberg interview. He said, I can't do it. A two hour behind the scenes look inside the classic movie. That's just great. A cutting edge interactive 3D great white shark feature. It's really a miracle of evolution. Deleted scenes, outtakes, and much more. <laughs> Catch and Collect, the ultimate summer blockbuster that started it all. Why are you son of a bitch? Jaws, 30th anniversary special edition two disc DVD. For that you get the head, the tail, the whole damn thing. Surfacing soon. Yes, please, no!